Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Razadine, a member of Red Guides, and today I'm going to walk you through the installation process of Red Guides' MacroQuest 2 version called Very Vanilla. Now, there are several versions of MacroQuest 2 out there. The one I like and enjoyed the most, and has the most least amount of things to worry about getting in trouble for, is Red Guides Very Vanilla. The reason why they call it very vanilla is because they do not do anything like some of the others do that are known to hack, cheat, and basically take advantage of the game. With very vanilla, all they do is read the stuff that comes in and put it out on things like your map. So with that little description done, let us begin our process today of doing Red Guide's very vanilla installation. The first thing everyone needs to do is simply go ahead and open up their browser and go to www.redguides.com and go ahead and press enter. Now you'll come to the main web page and you'll see here the top articles that are known that we're, that they're talking about on the Red Guides forums. All right, don't need to worry about this stuff over here. What you want to look at is this big red button here. It says download MQ2. So we're going to click on that. And by the way, before you begin that, one other thing you should know is you'll need to go up here first to where it says subscriptions. Click this link and follow the steps to get a subscription. You must be a level 2 member in order to go the rest of the way to download and install very vanilla MacroQuest 2. Alrighty, so once you've done that and you've gotten to this page, you're going to scroll all the way down to this part right here says, if you're new, please use the installer. Alright, so click on that link there. It'll bring you to another page that looks like this. And down here at the bottom, it will have the three common installers that they have already made. This is the one for all servers but test and the TrueBox servers. This is the test specific one. And this is the TrueBox specific one. For those of you who do not know what a TrueBox server is or forgot, about six months ago, Daybreak Games decided to make a server where you're only allowed to have one character on it at a time. The TrueBox server was designed for folks to play one tune at a time, get back to the old ways of groups. And it is a progression server like Ragefire and Lockjaw. But the difference is, that server, Finigal, is on a three-month expansion open-up timeline, unlike Ragefire Lockjaw, which is six months. And quick note, Ragefire Lockjaw are standard servers, just with the time lock progression, you may six-box on those. Also, if you're playing on the temporary quorum server, they are under true box rules as well. But we're going for the standard live servers where you may play six tunes at once because obviously that's what you've came here to do and we're going to go ahead and get you installed for doing that. You'll simply click this link here, do your browser standard download procedure and save it anywhere you like. Me, I save mine to my desktop. So once we have that done, we're going to come out here to the desktop and we're going to click on the Red Guides installer. It's going to want us to run it, and we're going to begin the installation process. I'll walk you through the entire installation process. First, we'll click Next. We're going to accept the agreement here. Next. Then we'll see this. We're going to click Next. It's going to ask us where we want it. We're going to say Next. This step here is very important. This step tells MacroQuest where EverQuest is. It wants the folder of the EXE. So we'll click Browse. We'll go ahead and go into Users, Public, Daybreak Games, Installed Games, EverQuest. You don't need to go any further. Just so you folks know, this is on my E drive. Everyone has their own. It usually defaults to C colon backslash users backslash public backslash daybreak game company backslash installed games backslash everquest my c drive was getting too full of stuff i had to move it over to my e drive so we will just go ahead here and say okay there's our path now i'm going to click next here 
it wants to know what I call it, I'm going to take the default. I'm going to click next here. It wants a desktop shortcut. Now, folks watching this video, for me, when I click next, it installs specific files, UI files of its own into your EverQuest directory. You'll see the pop-ups. Do you want to replace? I'm going to click through them fast to get that done so the install can finish. All right. On this next page, it's just as the verification, like most installer programs. Just read it, double check it, go back, make changes if you need, and when you're ready, click next. Now it's going to begin the process. And like I told you folks, here are these ones I'm just going to click yes to because these are stuff already in my EverQuest directory. It just wants to make sure I want them replaced. You'll see this screen when you've got successfully done. Simply go ahead and click next. Now it's going to ask you, do you want to run the updater? We're going to say yes, leave it checked, and click finish. Now, I've already got my information stored in the updater here. It will ask you for your Red Guide's login information. Go ahead, put that in. But before you click update, let's click plugins. Now, these are all the currently known plugins for MacroQuest 2. And you can read about these on the MacroQuest 2 forums in a section known as Macromania that will tell you about each one of them. You can also Google search them and find out more information about them uh, on Red Guides as well. Or some were originally made from other sites that brought to Red Guides, like the MMO bugs you've heard about probably. So you might not find an exact answer on Red Guides, but if you Google it, you should be able to find a Red Guides answer, or if not, somewhere else that is very comparable. But anyway, let's go ahead and check some of these. These are the ones I recommend. You don't have to use them all. The reason why I'm doing the auto login, even though I use WinEQ2 to do mine, is for the simple reason is the auto login is for folks that just want to get in quickly and they want to go ahead and six box. But I will warn you one thing with this one is you folks will not be able to alt uh, shortcut your way through your windows. For those of you that are IS Boxer WinEQ users, you know what I'm talking about. Those that don't, I'll give a brief uh, explanation. In WinEQ2 and IS Boxer, which I'll cover on the uh, login video what I'll do next, you have set hotkeys where you can sit there and press Alt and a number, and it'll switch to that tune. So say your Warrior is 1 and your Bard is 5, you do Alt 5, you go to the Bard. If you're on the Bard, you want the Warrior, you do Alt 1, and you'll go to your Warrior. But enough on that, let's continue on setup. So, we'll click on that one there, the MQ2 Auto Login. I highly recommend it for those folks. Then we'll go ahead and do something friendly for your bards. MQ2 Twist, very good. I enjoy using it with my bard. And then the one I like, if you don't have a ranger or a bard, and you just want to know where something is on track, MQ2 Track. Very good, very useful. Another one I have tried but was not very successful with that is supposedly very good is the MQ2 tool tip. I've had hard drive lag when I've been using tried using it before. I don't know if I had something set wrong or done wrong. So if any of you folks that use the tool tip know how to get around that, please post comments at the end of this video and uh, let me know. If there are any other ones that you folks find that are very good, feel free to do the same. And if I have time and can figure them out easily, I'll do a video on those. So, for right now, we're going to leave the rest of this screen alone, and we're going to click Save. All right, once you have that saved and set up, we're going to go ahead and tell it to update. It's going to go ahead and tell you we found an update, what this update about, all right, and its information. Go ahead and read it once you're ready. Click update. Now, obviously, if you folks are watching this video at a later date, that update's obviously going to be different. Updates happen when they make changes to the uh, setup, such as they've added new uh, features and strings for alias use, folks that can write their own macros, because this program allows you to write your own macros if you're very skilled at it, all right, for you programmers out there. All right, so it's done updating. We'll click finish. And typically, most folks have to do their updates every time the servers patch. 
or in between if they say hey folks there's no features here you might want to go ahead and download now before the next patch then update then but the most common update that you all have to do is the next patch all right so we have this downloaded we have this installed so you can ask so how do I run this how do I use this what does this do well I'm gonna go ahead and do a simple login demonstration and a simple short demo of features I'm not going to go into long detail because I want to keep this mainly to installation and first time run but hey I'll add a couple little tidbits at the end the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to your desktop and double click the icon here known as MacroQuest all right so that's running you can see MacroQuest comes down here in your hotbar I mean your uh, tray here your tray of all of your icons all right so there it is right there it's running that's all you need to do all right the next thing is simply load EverQuest again there are several ways you can do it one of the ways which I will cover in the next video is WinEQ2 a little tidbit for you folks that are going to use that you must load MacroQuest first then load WinEQ2 to, to get your WinEQ 2.0 spit that out to get your characters logged in if you don't there will be an error message stating macro quest must be done first I will cover that in detail in the next video but just wanted to give you folks a little heads up if you wanted to try that right now so we'll use the standard EverQuest launcher so we'll double click that icon and the launcher will come up just like if you did it without it go ahead and choose your account click on the play button Let the game load it'll load like it normally did find your server you want I'm just going to use this server here Povar as a demo server for this and tell the game to simply load now one thing I do want to point out with this and I'll go over this again in later videos this is a tool utility system used to help you have more fun in the game and be creative this is not meant as an auto botting program even though this program has options to do so please folks don't auto bot it will get you banned and trust me I have heard of people that have now it'll come to your standard character select screen go ahead and choose whatever character you want I'm just gonna grab this wizard here and log into the game now if you noticed up there you saw that little window that said MQ2 that lets you know macro quest 2 is running you have successfully loaded it installed it and gotten into game alrighty folks we're waiting for the zone to load and finish just a couple of more seconds here and we will get running also I'd like to give a big thanks to the people that write this stuff they've made it so much more enjoyable than having to write your own macros from scratch and use a lot of different hotkey mappings like you do for WoW with IS Boxer. It is so nice here with MacroQuest 2. Keep up the good work. All right, we have logged into the game and when we are in plane of knowledge. All right, so let's take a look around and see some of the great little features regarding MacroQuest. First thing you're going to recognize is mobs have con color colors now over their head this person cons yellow to me it used to be the old days you have to right click on it and press the letter C and then obviously you would see such and such cons yellow color and of course the standard don't take a swing at it message unless you want to get killed all right so that's one of the best things they color it up they brighten the colors make it great for you folks that have visual disabilities that sometimes have you know issues with uh, colorblind alright now let me show you another cool one and feature with the same thing alright see that beast lord there I mean that beast lord merchant is orange that's the color that they chose to use for orange uh, for merchants orange same with this one here for the jewel master guy but you notice it's nice and bold the banker 